Neela is the newest bot laner to hit the rift and it's safe to say she's a lot of fun. She is a melee AD carry waterbender with a massive whip, so what's not to like? If you're dying to give her a go this patch, hopefully this guy should help you get started. Neela is a pretty mobile, close ranged AD carry with a ton of unique and intriguing additions to her kit. She has good splash damage, literally, she has inbuilt armor pen and crit, and she can really get stuck in up close and personal and be very hard to shut down at the same time. Neela is actually pretty difficult to play perfectly though, so she's going to take some practice to really master her. Her range is limited, which means positioning is going to be very important, especially because she's naturally squishy as an AD carry. Neela is also a lot stronger in certain drafts than others as well because of her passive and while she can block auto attacks it's not quite a win wall. Don't forget to check out our champion page for Neela by clicking the link in the description to check out all of the most popular and successful builds and runes that get updated every single day. We also have guides on how to play her, how to counter her, her combos, tips and loads more so don't miss out. For Neela's runes, our testers have been having the most success with Lethal Tempo, but Conqueror is also not a bad option if you do prefer it. We just think the extra attack range alongside your Q's range increase too is just too good to pass up on. You can also go for Fleet in very difficult range matchups. After that we're going for Triumph, Legend Tenacity and Coup de Gras. Overheal is an interesting one but it seems a bit unnecessary and the mana is a little bit more sought after due to how much you're going to spam that Q. After that we think Resolve is the best option for those secondary runes, going for Shield Bash and Revitalize for a bit of durability and even more improved shielding and healing. You're going to auto max your Q first first as this is your main damaging and most important ability, then your E second and finish off with your W. Immortal Shield Bow seems to be the best mythic item to go for so far on Neela. She definitely is a crit based champion but she also has a fair amount of healing from her Q's passive and her ultimate, so when combined with Shield Bow and her W she's going to be pretty hard to take down. Aside from your mythic there's quite a few interesting items to go for. Phantom Dancer, Infinity Edge, Lord Dominix Regards and Bloodthirster are the most popular choices and what seems to be the most consistent. Death Dance and Mortal Reminder are also worth considering though. Death Dance adds to healing potential and survivability and Mortal Reminder should be taken against comps with lots of healing. If you want some more defensive items, Guardian Angel, Mercurial Scimitar or even a Spirit Visage can be fantastic choices. Remember if you've gone for a Shield Bow you cannot build a more, but the improved sustain on Spirit Visage is a great alternative option. Against easy lanes you can play pretty confidently knowing that you'll be fairly hard to punish. Dash in with that EQ combo when you level up and use your W on your and your support to make you both very difficult to retaliate to. Make sure you're also utilizing the bonus range you get after using your Q as much as you can to bully your enemies and keep on top of any trades. Neela struggles against champions that can simply outrange her and poke her down and she's also weak to heavy CC. You're going to need to make sure you hit that Q in any fights to get that bonus range and be careful not to waste your E charges as these are your main way to gap close and escape. Don't forget you can use those E charges through allied and enemy targets though, so you can use these flexibly depending on the matchup. You can also use that W to block basic attacks so this can be a solid way to survive against those long range attempts to take you down. Neela works well with a variety of supports. She pairs well with aggressive engaging supports like Nautilus as they can dive in together and abuse that early damage potential. However, she also works exceptionally well with sustaining and utility supports too as her passive grants her improved shielding and healing. Her passive also means that her support gains improved heals or shields too when casting nearby on themselves or Neela, which is pretty insane. So in lane you've got lots of tools at your disposal and you want to try and utilize all the different parts of your kit to really dominate the lane phase. Landing your Q is going to be the most important thing though, it deals a good amount of damage and it gives you that temporary extra range which is so so important because without it you're basically melee. You want to use your E to dodge any incoming skill shots and abilities and also use this to gap close onto your targets when you level up. You can use your E on minions, allied champions or enemies but remember it does deal damage to your target when used on them. So when you're in range a quick EQ combo will deal decent burst and then allow you to be in prime position to auto them down afterwards with the extended range too. Your W can often be saved to be used defensively but honestly in the majority of 2v2s you're going to want to pop it as soon as you've committed. Don't forget to pass through your support when it's active though to share the benefits of it with your teammate. Once you've got your ultimate your all in potential is even higher. This ability provides some good damage and CC but it also heals you and your nearby support based on the damage dealt to champions. You can't use any other abilities or auto attacks when you cast it though but you can still move and you can use this ability when you're in flight with your E. I'd recommend using this after your EQ combo to engage and really start those fights off in the bot lane. Team fights are super fun on this champion but actually a bit more difficult than you first may think. She's not quite on the level of Samira's dive in and press R and she does take a bit of getting used to. So the one thing I would say though more than anything else when playing this champion is making sure you're landing those Qs in teamfights. You seriously need that bonus attack range especially when your E charges are down and without it you're going to struggle to actually deal damage without getting bursted down in the process. Even if you hit your Q on nearby targets such as minions, jungle camps or other champions you still get the bonus range. So don't try and greed to hit it on a super mobile enemy champion unless it's worth the risk. Talking of mobility your E is your main way to navigate the fights and reposition yourself. You get a couple of charges and you want to use them wisely. Always stay near your support or at least another teammate most of the time so you always have a safe escape if you need it with this ability. When fighting in big close range fights you can deal some pretty insane AoE damage and be fairly hard to take down in the process. Neela's Q deals some solid damage but it also grants you splash damage too alongside the extra range. 
Then you've also got your W and your ultimate to self peel and these can be key to keeping yourself alive. If you get dove by an enemy team your ultimate can sometimes be enough to help you survive through it with the CC alongside the healing and potential shielding. Remember though you aren't an engaging champion, you're a squishy AD carry so even if you're 20-0 and diving in a pressing art is probably not going to be the best idea. Let's finish off with a few quick tips and tricks. Neela's E is an auto attack reset so this should be used to boost your damage output. Like a lot of other champions, Neela can Q flash too. This is actually really important though because as I've mentioned a lot, it's crucial that you hit your Q to keep trading and fighting more effectively. You can also combine your Q flash into an engage with your E and R combo too. Neela's W grants her ghosting, movement speed and she dodges basic attacks including things like twisted face gold cut and it reduces magic damage taken too. When passing through allied champions though, she also gives them the effects for a brief period. So if you're quick enough and your team is grouped up, you can actually buff your entire team with this ability. Alongside the improved shielding and healing, Neela's passive has yet another very intriguing part to it. Whenever she kills a minion, Neela and her support or whoever is the nearest allied champion gain 50% of the experience that they would normally have lost due to sharing the XP, in addition to the normal amount. This means you can often get those level ups before your lane opponents and force fights to gain an advantage and start snowballing easily. Thanks for checking out this short guide on Neela. Remember to check out our website to see more Neela content and these short guides for every single champion. We'll see you next time and as always, take care.